right, so we are here. You saw the engine is, is all assembled. I didn't bother showing you the last uh, 10 hours of putting this engine on the dyno. Now, everything is temporary. This is Jason Sag. Say hi. Hi, guys. Yeah. So this is his engine. The, uh, everything in hot side, cold side, it's all temporary just for the dyno so we can go through it, prove it out, make sure everything is okay. So I got everything all hooked up here. Uh, we have not started it up yet. We're just ran uh, fuel check, uh, oil check, uh, water check, make sure that everything was uh, no leaks, fixed a couple leaks. I had the cam sig magnet in, wrong polarity. Uh, anyways, fixed that. And now we are getting going out there. I'm gonna show you the full dyno session we're just gonna let the camera run through the whole thing. So I'm gonna talk to you uh, as we are going along. Ooh, look at that. Done. <laughs> So it just did a, just the first initial hit. Uh, bigger, now we just got heat in it, made a quick short pull, no boost. Uh, we'll look at the data here real quick, and then we're just gonna go through, check valve lash, make sure everything looks all good right there. Alrighty, we're into the second pull now. I had, uh, we just went in, checked valve lash, it spewed off some oil out the vent. I think I might have a little too much oil going to the top half of the engine. We always run a lot of oil to the top half of the engines uh, for the drag and drive stuff because that's what helps keep springs alive during these drives, valve train stuff. I might have just a tick too much uh, and it might not, the pump uh, might not be able to scavenge because the small lines and it's tied together. It's trying to scavenge turbos and cylinder heads off a of 1-10 scavenge line. I think it might be a little too light and it might be sending too much oil up to the top half so the combination is putting a lot of oil up there so we're going to run this real quick and see Alrighty, so that pull, second pull, a nice easy seven pounds of boost. Didn't rev it up by the way, that's a thousand sixty horsepower, sixty four hundred. Uh, nice easy right there. Still have a, gonna be fixing this uh, boiling issue to the top half of the engine. So we're gonna make another pull here, just put a little bit of power to it. Uh, so we can be at a good spot to where we would normally do maintenance and make sure everything's all cool and nothing's moving, nothing's changing. Anyways. So, I didn't have it. 
gonna have to do some tuning on there, so it's down on power from what it should be. I figure right there it should have been at least 15, yeah, probably a little over 1500. Made 14 pounds of boost, almost 1400 horsepower. Actually, it's probably not that bad, but it's probably, uh, I think it's probably a couple hundred down. But we gotta look at the tune up there because anytime it does does this, and it kind of sounded up there, so it's probably hitting some cells right now. I mean, obviously, I haven't even revved it up to 7,000 yet, so that's yeah, the first time. Yeah, I heard it. Time. Just a little bit. Yep. So, that is it for tonight. We will pick this back up in the morning. We're going to uh, change the uh, lifter to a non-modified lifter. I'll talk with you about that more tomorrow. All right. Dewey shirts are in. Here's this one. Dewey, look over there. Does it look like you? Look at the camera. Oh, no, he doesn't want to look at the camera. <laughs> All right, Dewey shirts are in. Go over, buy some merch. Must be right on the verge. Alright, so we didn't show you, uh, we've been here this morning, didn't show you a couple pulls because we were messing around with the oil pump and trying to play with oil pressure. And uh, somehow, some way, something got either flopped around or we hit, I don't know, something something changed and it had a whole lot of freaking oil pressure. It pegged out my gauge. So, and actually, I was thinking about that, it's 150 pound gauge. It probably just airs out at 153. So it was over because it blew the oil filter ring out of it. And uh, so I think it probably it might have hurt one of the turbo seals. So not a big deal. Uh, it looks like it's cleaning up right now. So I don't know if it maybe it's recovered. But we're at uh, so I should have ran it up just a little bit higher because it's still climbing up through here. I mean, it made peak torque at 7,600, 1,500 foot pounds of torque. And this was at uh, we've made some lower ones. We just made 20, 20 something. And this is at 20, it says 25 here, and actually on the, uh, this one reads a pound high, the Holly says 24. So 24 pounds of boost, uh, 2150 horsepower. So uh, we're gonna go in, look at tune-up stuff. We've already checked pl spark plugs a few times. Um, I think we'd like to, mm, what, was the, what was the boost the last pull? 22? 20, 20 and a half. 20 and a half? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll see where it's uh and let's see what the tune up looks like. So uh we'll turn the fan back on here and yeah, well now our oil pressure is ninety, so I'm not sure why it's <laughs> it is probably unhappy about the I agree, it's probably unhappy about the spring and the where the position is on it. So um all right, so all cool, everything's looking good right there. Um let's go back and I think we're just going to look at numbers here. Data. Data. All right, so what we decided to do. Oh, so here, so our O2 sensor is getting flatter, so it does go. That was at, yeah, I mean, that was at 3.4. So, I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty rich. So that's why it, that's, it, it'll make more horsepower here. So, <clears throat> We had a couple pairs of Hartz turbos, and so what we did was we put on, these are just 76 millimeter turbos. I think that we could make, we got 23 pounds of dome pressure, 
right there and it is making 24 pounds of boost so it's not too awful bad right there but there's room left on these turbos but it's not going to get us to the magic numbers that we want to see so we were just kind of testing these smaller 76s yes i think we could obviously they make 2500 they might make 26 2700 maybe right around there but we're just going to go right for putting the uh the bigger 82 millimeters those are 82 millimeters kyle it's 76s no these ones i'm talking about those ones about what the ones over there no oh, those are 76s too i think no there's a big set and a smaller set that is the big set all right we're gonna check this out let's go over here and look at them <laughs> I don't know what Kyle's talking about. <laughs> These are 82s, <laughs> hence the 82 number. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna put these on, and even even these might be. I mean, this is not um, this is not the max effort turbo. We do these are still smaller turbos, but it's gonna be interesting to see what these what these pick up and what we can make with these. Um, I know we can make over 3,000 with them, so I guess we're going to see how much more we can make. So just as a little side note, uh, like I said, we were having uh, you seen a little bit of smoke coming out of it. It's probably because we overpressurized the turbos, and you can always tell. You look inside the exhaust pipe from the engine. So this is exhaust coming to the turbo. Is dry, dry, dry. Exhaust coming out of the turbo is wet, <laughs> oily. So. We just kind of screwed those turbos up. Hearts will fix them. And uh, no problem. So anyways, putting it, getting this other 82 millimeter on there, be done here in a minute. All right, so same, this is the uh, same tune-up, same uh, wastegate pressure, everything, just with the 82s. Tune-up looks good. It was a safe rich, actually a little too over rich, so don't worry about that. I think we're all good. Good in hoods. Uh, all lines are on.
right, now we'll take a look at the dad. Uh, obviously, we'll just lay it over up here, but I think it's, I don't know if that's just going to pull back on throttle or what was going on there. All right, so the, uh, just looking at the data log there, it actually it fell off in boost. The target dome was still the same. Where we go? Target dome, there we go. And it just fell over. All right. Well, anyways, it's right there, and, and the boost just fell off at the end. So it was at uh, 24, and then right at the end of the pull, it was down at 22. So just lost a little boost there. So we're just going to throw some more dome pressure at it. Uh, work on my tune just a little bit right there. And we'll come right back at it. So that's getting reasonable. Let's see what kind of boost it took to do that. And then we'll come back and uh, time to go eat lunch. But uh, we'll come back and look at tune up stuff. 30. So that's not bad. That's probably because it'll take uh, it'll take all of it to make 3,500. I mean, all of these turbos. Um, yeah, so 30 for 25. And we can get after the tune up a little bit. It's, it's awful safe right there. Um, that's about right. So maybe just tick low. Sorry. All right, we're going to eat lunch now. We're coming right back. Obviously look real good there going up and then flatten right out. So let me see what we got going on there. Yeah, I mean it's looking good everywhere. And flat. Alright. I think we'll definitely uh really cool down for a second, do a plug read on that, see what it looks like. Alright, so what we're seeing here on the graph is uh right at that 7200 so it was gonna make uh, it did make 34 pounds of boost so it should have made right around 2800 horsepower so 27 2800 horsepower instead of uh, almost 26. uh should have been closer to 28. and uh the only thing that i can see here is let me get rid of some of this stuff here This is our timing line right here. And I've not, I did not go through there yet to change timing. And as soon as it dropped all the timing out of it, I just had it really safe up in the upper uh, boost areas. So after it hit that, that is right at 7,100 RPM and right at 7,200 RPM is where it just laid flat. So we're gonna put a new set of spark and the spark plugs look good. Uh, it's still under timed. I already know it's under timed, and I think it's probably way under timed right there. So we're going to put a new set of spark plugs in it, and we're going to uh, leave that same boost curve 
put some timing in it up there at that RPM and at that boost level. I'll put uh, probably two or three degrees of time in it because I think it's that short. Might even be a little bit more short than that. Uh, and we'll see what it does. I don't know, gonna go in there and check it out, but it didn't make as much boost as it's supposed to, not even close. But I mean, this would be 30 pounds on, in the dad logger here, on the holly. So, it's down four or five pounds of boost. Acts like it's, acts like it lost a, a spark plug or something. I know, I'm trying to solve it. Alright, so we changed uh, spark plugs and spark plug wires again because it all of a sudden went away. And then it was low on boost. That was a little low on boost, so it was only 30, uh, 30, 32. 32 pounds of boost. And what I did was I went back to old school uh, engine builder understanding. It takes X amount of, regardless of VE number, to put, it needs this roughly this many pounds per hour of fuel with this fuel to make X amount of horsepower. Through a thousand pounds more fuel, thousand pounds per hour more fuel at the engine, and it almost made the same horsepower. We can look at the previous pull. So this is previous. So previous is right here and it just laid over a little bit right here, but that is with a thousand pounds per hour of fuel more than what it did have. So I think I was just on the wrong side of the fuel curve. Uh, I've done it before, especially if you get hung up on certain numbers and you just start reading numbers, you don't understand the, the math of what's going on. So we're gonna re-sneak back up on this thing and, and uh, figure this thing out. So we're gonna look at plugs. Always read your plugs. Plugs tell everything. Pretty decent pickup. So we'll see what we're at for boost. Remember, this is a, about a pound, a little over a pound high. All right, that's 32 pounds. All right, so that would be. All right, let's see what it is here. Yeah, so so looking at the data, it was 32 pounds of boost right there. Uh, we're checking spark plugs right now. It was still, as a matter of fact, it was still uh, 2.9 to 1 ratio right there. And it did manage to lean itself up to uh, 3.6. 3.6, 3.7, and then it went back down to 3.0, oh, 2.9. So still rich. We're going to verify it on the spark plug. Like I said, verify it on the spark plug and uh looks good and i think we could probably put a little more timing in it but i think we're probably just gonna leave that particular tune alone and start up in the boost
as identical as you could get. Yeah. I put a little more boost at it. But I don't think it didn't pick up as much as I thought. So I don't think it picked up as much boost as I thought. I put a little more dome pressure on it. Let's see where it's at. So this is at. Well, we were getting pretty close to being out of turbo because I threw uh, seven or eight pounds of dome pressure on it and only picked up two pounds of boost. Okay. Uh, what pressure looks great. All right, let's go in there and read the plugs real quick and see what those plugs look like. Just pull out of one or two. Now, this is methanol plug, so you're not gonna see soot. So we read it in heat. And you can see here, this is number seven spark plug, and the only thing that really has any color is the strap. And I would still say the strap, I think that timing is, hmm, you read timing on the strap of how hot it is, hot to colder, and it's still short on timing, pretty easy, and it's definitely, definitely got fuel in it, so, uh, that's reading the methanol plug. It is a little bit harder, uh, a little harder for, I don't know if you can see that, the, the shine off of there, it hasn't burned the cadmium off of anything there. So, this one's definitely cold. All right, so, threw a bunch more uh, dome pressure at it, so, We'll see what, uh, I just wanted to get it up to 40 pounds of boost, so we can make it. So I got, this is 60 pounds on the gate. So. If it can't do with that? If it can't, can't do that, we're, we might be out of something. <laughs> Turbo shopping. <laughs> yeah, because it ain't, it ain't gonna make any, uh, it's diminishing returns, and once there's no return on it, there's no way to, <laughs> to do anything with it, so. All right, let's see what it does. So let's see what we made for boost. So we're close to, uh, I'm sure we are getting tapped out here. Uh, report. Thirty-seven pounds of boost. So remember, this is a little bit high, but it's still uh, it made four. So we put in. I went uh, sixty. So I put in another uh, sixty. So I put in another. Uh, oh well, I don't know. We'll we'll try throwing a little more at it here in a second. We'll see where it goes. So it still isn't making 40 pounds of boost. So that's uh, we are going to be not making 3,500. <laughs> not with these turbos. Not with these turbos. We are we are definitely out of turbo. Um, but we are going to make 3,000, and then uh, this thing needs to go in the car like immediately. And then we're going to be talking about turbos and what we're going to be doing. So, figuring out what we're going to do. All right, we're going to put some more wastegate pressure on it. Might as well look at a couple 
same plugs just to take a look at it real quick make sure everything looks good sounds good is good uh well just got to make it 40 pounds of boost is what we got to do oh and you saw it blow the uh blow the exhaust off and it does have a little does have some smoke out there too so i i don't i'm not sure what's all going on right there um uh, with uh not not a hundred percent sure that we're not still burning off oil out of the pipe because it was really bad it doesn't run long enough to burn off everything so uh, anyways you can see the exhaust is down there in the bottom uh, we'll go back in there and hook that all up after it cools down because it's kind of hot um, so we'll uh, Sure, because it does. That's why I revved it up a couple times uh, when it was, when the pipe was blown off. It's not blowing any smoke when I just rev it up. So I, I think it's blow. I think it's just burning the pipe. There's a long section of pipe, about four foot long pipe, that's just coated with oil on the inside of it. it. Takes a while for that to burn off when we're just making dyno hits on. Um, anyways, let's turn it up a little bit. Alrighty, so. We uh, just double check on a couple spark plugs, make sure everybody looks happy. Here's that VE table. This is where we're at. Uh, 129, 130% VE. And that ends up putting us at, uh, and if we can get it up to 40 pounds of boost up there, uh, 41, 4,000 to 4,100 pounds per hour of fuel, uh, which is the math is pre pretty darn close right there. Um, looks good. Um, oh, so I have 70 pounds of dome pressure on it. So threw another 10 pounds of dome pressure on it to see if we can make it get up to 40 pounds of boost. Uh, if it picked up another two pounds, that'd be pretty good. Um, really not going to do much up more than that. Uh, we look down the the uh, uh, exhaust, and these turbos are smoking, and it's guaranteed. I I know it's my fault. Uh, we're jerking around with a pump and we're jerking around with a bypass on it and had it screwed up again the second time <laughs> and uh, I started it and it goes ping pegs the oil pressure gauge I shut it right down right away and 99% sure I probably popped the seals on both of them because I've never had oiling problems on Hart's turbos before uh, unless it's pretty darn close to a couple hundred pounds of oil pressure going to it Minimum 153 because it it's gone to 153, which is the air aired out for the sensor on 150 psi sensor. Um, so we'll uh, um, send these turbos out, have them uh, have hearts fix them up real quick. Um, but they're I think that I think it's in a really good spot right here. The engine is like super happy. It's not breathing. Uh, we, we did a valve last year a little bit ago. I mean, it's just like spot on the money. And this is a multiple pulls of well over 2,500 horsepower with no breathing, no issues, no nothing. Um, things are just really solid. So uh, doing exactly what it's supposed to do. We're just, these little 82 millimeter turbos are just too small to make much more horsepower than where we're at. Um, might end up uh, gonna just go down the track with it first day. Yeah, probably just gonna go down the track and make this work first because it's gonna be pretty. It's way better than what it was. So, right? Like one thousand <laughs> horsepower more than before. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna run it right here. Seventy pounds on the gate. Uh, see if we can get this thing to make forty pounds of boost. So, 
two things. Irony or irony. So it dawned on me, it's like, oh crap. I only have it programmed for 60, for having 60 pounds of dome pressure, as in that's what the boost controller thinks it has. And I actually only had it at 60 pounds of dome pressure available, like pressure available, like you had CO2. So it can't, uh, it defaults, and as soon as it sees that it hits 60 pounds of dome pressure, it will not go any farther. And it, it does something sometimes where it'll actually lower it. So I go, oh crap, I'll just go in there and raise it. So I raised that to 80 pounds of CO2 pressure to it basically, and then told it that it had 80 pounds of pressure, and then told it to, um, to the safety cut, ignition cut is at 45 PSI, which it 99% sure it just hit the ignition cut, and that's what the pop was. But it goes, boom, it hit the ignition cut which blew the exhaust off, which blew half of my fittings off of the wall. But we're at 3108, and I'm pretty sure it probably hit close to 45 pounds of boost. Let's see. Right at the end. Oh, nope, it still didn't hit it. Now let's see, let's see if it was just slow or what was going on. Let's see what the data log says. So anyway, about it, it definitely picked up, definitely made her 43 pounds of boost right there. And uh, so there is a little bit more left in the turbos. That's 70 pounds, so 70, 70 pounds made 45, so 76, so yeah, I mean, we could probably keep on going just a little bit, but I mean, they gotta be getting pretty tapped out right there. Not two to one. Yeah, not, 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 two not quite two to one, yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's a little bit left in it. That is a 2,146 pounds of torque. <laughs> at uh, 7600 that's actually where it popped off there so i mean it's didn't even run up to 8500 and it took out the tray and the fittings they're out fittings tray exhaust <laughs> let's see so it hit the it hit the safety right there so it did make 45 pounds of boost that's pretty good uh, our AFR is still down on the rich side. That's no problem. Uh, yep, it just went up there and as soon as it hit 45, I can show you that actually. Let's go over here, let's go boost safety. Bang. So as soon as you see it hit the change number, that means it hit it. So it goes from everybody's happy, bang, hits it shuts off blows it off so I don't know I mean it probably would have made uh, pretty close to 32 error in my uh, boost control logic that's all right it's on it's on the safe rich side so that's pretty good and oh you know what oh, darn it up there too and still knocking all the timing out of it all right well, we can see where it's at, where it's gonna be. The engine is rock solid. It's rock solid. It is uh, almost five o'clock and we have to put the engine in the car tonight. So uh, that's the next video coming up is engine in the car. Uh, it obviously is on its way to making, uh, like I said, it's on its way to making, well, it was a, it's a hundred better. A little over 100 better right here so 3108 yeah so it's a, just a tick over 100 better so i figure it's at 8000 and that was it at there so uh it was maybe gonna make like 3200 but it is it's still a ton of dome pressure there's probably a little bit more left in it yes uh we could just keep on throwing it at it uh, and it's it, the the returns are going like this getting really really diminishing so uh, Actually, we're super happy with that. I think uh, because we got to get this thing in the car So it can go to the chassis shop so it can get hot side cold side plumbing It's gonna come back and then we're gonna be doing testing doing all that kind of stuff with it. So I think uh, Everything's done all cool 
Cool with me. It's awesome. There you go. Uh, awesome. And it's, I mean, I think, I think the engine is just really, I'm happy with it. It's spot on. So solid. In the car. Jason's gonna take this thing, get the hot side, cold side put on it. You can see that we've even added, we made these custom billet front motor plates for the car. They look really nice, actually. They, I mean, they fit like a freaking glove. So that's really cool. Uh, he's gonna mount his fuel pump right over here. Looks like we're gonna clear. That thing's all good, but this thing is ready to go bye-bye in the car and go to the next process. So. Uh, I think everything's cool. You're cool? cool. You're super cool? It's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, I think it is. I mean, it is. This is this is 10 pounds of shiny in a five pound package because <laughs> it is very cool <laughs> uh, and makes a boatload of horsepower. So super happy. That's all great. Uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, like, subscribe, buy some merch, and remember, we're gonna follow this through the whole thing because as soon as Jason gets all the hot side, cold side done and all the fat, rest of the little fab work, we're bringing it back here, gonna do a hub dyno. Then we're gonna go test with the car. We're gonna show you all that stuff and then we're going on drag week and I'm gonna ride in this car with Jason for drag week. So, I'm Steve Morris, have a great day. Here's box. I boxed up over there and I'm gonna grab them. Right, going that way though. Yep. A little more now.